Hello, welcome to another video. Um, use a, this is a acrylic painting set, and it's got some acrylic paints in there as well. So, just thought I'd tell you that. Um, now. I've got some coloured pencils, and this is uh, um, what do they call them? Graphite pencils. Those are. I've got some graphite pencils for drawing with. Some coloured pencils. Um. Sketching pencils. Um, I, t I showed you my um, soft pastels when I, when I got them from the shop. So, um, I think that's all. Oh, look. Another thing I forgot to show you. These big pots of gold and silver acrylic paint. Um, I'll use the silver one to do the canine. Um, So we go. That's this sketchbook I usually use for um, testing out colours and that. And I've got some canvas boards, small ones, and I've got large ones and even large ones there. Yeah. And of course, when you need canvas on these all. I got the other week um, sketchbook. That's the one that I showed you my sketches in. A larger one there, A4 version. Uh, and I've got some um, this one. This is a this is writing paper. Uh, did a stamp on that? And these are stamp, stamp, stamped images here. Mm. That's a color, that's a color pencil drawing I did. Mm, I don't remember doing that. It's quite good, yeah. That. Okay. And that's it. I think from there. So, oh, so. Got to get that in straight again. Oh, something else. Man. Another stamp image. If I, uh, hold on. Just getting it level again. <laughs> Not at all. I'll put that there. <laughs> um, then we've got this. Sketch pad. Um, then we've got tracing paper. That's what I usually use in a stay wet palette for the acrylics. And I've got a watercolour pad. That's the one that I've been using most recently. Um, 
another artist watercolour pad. So those are so. Andrea is a, uh, I've got a, what is it, I mean it's Andrea, Acro artist acrylic pad, I'm not going to be able to get it back under now, which, um, then we've got another watercolour pad there. And two more of these ones. Can't, you don't have to just use them for doing paintings, they can use for craft as well. It says Twilight watercolour paints and all water based colouring mediums. But I'm going to use it for my painting. Let's put it on up there. Right, right. Now. We got in here. Mm. Oh, more coloured pencils. I forgot I've got those and a pad as well. Um, there was another one of those little canvases. This is a very big watercolour pad, but it's not very, it's not very, it's only 80 GSM. Let's have it at least 300 GSM. But hopefully if I stick the corners down, it won't, it won't um, bend. What's the word I'm looking for? Warp. When you put water on it, no. Um, oh, that was my first effort at a, at a ladybird, and I gave up on it and started again. Yeah, guess I could use the back of that for another thing. Um, this is just. Hard. Uh, another little oh a little sketchbook mm. sorry about this um sketchbook um I think that's all then oh, no. I've got some more card here I don't know what mm. some more card there um I don't know what these are doing here eh? these are meant for jewelry making put them up there. Um, well, so I can't know what to call a pad. 230 that one. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think that's all the watercolour pads, all the pads and stuff that I want to show you. So that's the end of this video then. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.